Hi everybody, how are you? Hope you're having a great day. I haven't been doing uh, my weekly favorite videos lately for a while because I've been working strange hours, been really busy, and it seems like I use a lot of the same things over and over and over and over again. Um, so I thought I'd... I'm sorry. This is Snicker standing in front of me, and yes, he looks like he's part sheep. And uh, this is a big old head that just keeps, as his hair grows, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. So they have been a little wild over here today. Plus my neighbor's dog is over here and they've been playing really hard. Come here, Indy. Indy, you wanna come over here? Come here, Indy. So I'm gonna try to get through a mid-month favorite. So maybe this will work out, maybe it won't. I'm not gonna go through everything and I'm not gonna go into a detailed description of some of the things I like because a lot of these things you already know and you probably have. It's just what I'm using right now. So let's get through some things fast. To set my under eye concealer, I've been using Ben Nye Banana Powder. It's a very nice lightweight powder that just is perfect for under the eyes. It's not an expensive powder, and if you are looking for it, I'd go onto their website and check to see where there's someplace local in your community that sells it. But I found mine at a costume store in Indianapolis. Another powder for highlighting, the Mary Lou Luminizer. It's very pretty. You can use it as a highlighter. Put a little bit on your lips for a little added sparkle around your eyes. Whatever you want to bring attention to, this is just a beautiful highlighter. For bronzer, I've been loving the Hula bronzer. It's just a great color. I use it mainly to warm up my skin, not necessarily to contour. I already have, it seems like, enough contours in my face. I just, you know, during this weather, we just need a little warmth in our skin, and this has been the perfect one for me. It doesn't add shine or anything to my skin. It's just a nice matte finish, and it looks very natural. A couple things that I really like. Oh, sorry. And they're both by Physician's Formula, and these are the Sexy Boosters, the bronzer, and this is for the blush. I just like... Okay, okay. <laughs> Sorry, this is a snicker. Oh, here comes Indy. Oh, I swear, these things are great for just giving that wonderful scent and fragrance across your face. They have this beautiful vanilla fragrance, and it's supposed to, you guys, I can't see anything. <laughs> Sorry, they just leave this nice. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea after all. It just leaves this wonderful fragrance on your cheeks and when the wind blows, it just smells so good and it just makes you feel happy. So, a couple other things. Eyeshadows that I'm using this month, the Rock Pro Palette. Love these shadows. They, about every combination you want is in here. It seems like they're very blendable, creamy, velvety, smooth. They're just beautiful shadows. Blushes, two of them that I'm loving. Um, the Balm Down Boy, beautiful pinky mauve, and NYX blushes. If you haven't tried them, these things are great, very inexpensive. And the one I really like right now, and it's what I'm wearing, is called Spice. You know, it's a pink color. To me, when I think of spice, I think more of a rusty, kind of a brown undertone or something, not pink, but hey, this is what they call it, so I like spice. A couple of powders, face powders that I like to set foundation. This is an excellent one for the price. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte. It's not expensive and it just leaves your skin with a nice, mm, kind of a flawless finish. It doesn't leave you powdery or anything, but it does help control the shine. Another powder that I really like if I want to, you know, a little bit more, and that's the MAC Mineralized Powder. I I am using the medium deep. Okay, a couple of mascaras, two that I really like. Cargo Texas Lash, can you see it? This is a great mascara. I got it as part of a little, I don't know, pack at Christmas time or something. It's buildable. It lengthens, it volumizes, it doesn't flake, it stays put, it doesn't smear, and it stays until you are ready to take it off. I wish, Snicker, would you, okay. The other one that I really like is 
the Tarte Amazonian Clay. Just like the cargo, this is not a toy. It volumizes, it lengthens, it separates, it stays put, it doesn't flake on me, and it stays until it's time to come off. <sighs> this maybe wasn't such a good idea. I hope you forgive me. Some people say that they like seeing my dogs on here, so you're really seeing them this time, so I hope you really like them. Concealer, I'm, I like this concealer. Get it at the drugstore, it's the Maybelline Fit Me. I've had a couple people ask me about concealers because they say there's really creases. Use a really good eye cream. Let that eye cream, you know, soak in, uh, be absorbed into your skin. Then you can use your concealer. And you don't want to go overboard on it because it will settle in, but you want to pat, lightly pat it in, and use your ring finger because those are the fingers that have the least amount of pressure. Tap it in, and then I always set mine with the banana powder, and it works great for me, and I don't have to worry about creasing. So, you know, if you want some more ideas on concealers that I use that I like, I'll be more than happy. Just leave your comments down below. I'll be happy to do a video on it, but this is the one I'm using right now, this combination. Okay, guys, your elbow hurts. Uh, foundation. Uh, you've heard me talk about these before, but I'm not going to say a lot about them. You know, for the days that I just want a little bit of coverage, but make my skin look better and it's just the physician's formula cc this is the organic really do like this it gives a little bit of coverage plus gives some of the cc you know the color correction benefits and it just gives you a nice it's not almost a glow but it just makes your skin look better that's the best way i know how to say it and it's really good the other one this is the Rimmel Lasting Finish, very inexpensive. It's a great foundation. Mm -hmm. I mean, something you can find at a drugstore or discount store, this mm -hmm. is just a very good foundation. Mm -hmm. The one that I'm getting a lot of compliments on, and I just have a sample of it, this is the Estee Lauder mm -hmm. Double Wear, and I got mine in Soft mm -hmm. Tan. I've heard a lot of people talk about this foundation. You know, I think it's what, $38? I don't even know for sure. Okay, now they're going to start playing. This is the growling going on. Um, I didn't want to invest that if I didn't think I was going to like it. So I went to Nordstrom's and got a little tester like this. And I got to tell you, this little bottle probably will last a couple of weeks because it takes so little. I am so impressed with this foundation. You put it on, it, I will tell you, they do have a lot of colors, a lot of shades. They have it in warm, cool, and neutral. I need the cool tones. And there's so many shades within each of those brackets. There's something there for you. I would go to a store that sells Estee Lauder and ask for a sample of it before you invest in it. But this... <laughs> I get people stopping me and asking what I'm using on my skin because my face looks flawless. Or at least to them it looks flawless. I can pick it apart. And it's this foundation that really does. Stop barking, please. It really does. It goes on matte and it dries and it does stay all day. You don't need a primer with it, or at least I don't need a primer with it. It just goes on and just leaves you with a beautiful finish on your skin. It minimizes your pores, it blurs out imperfections. It is just a great foundation and I am very impressed. I will tell you it does dry a little lighter so you may need to go a shade darker. But That's why they have such a wide range of shades and tones. So if you're thinking about and you're wondering about the Estee Lauder Double Wear, go to a store. I know Macy sells it, Nordstrom. Um, I'm not, I don't have Dillard's or anything like that around me, but uh, wherever they sell Estee Lauder and see about a sample, they are more than happy to give you a sample of it because they want you to come back. And I don't know. I am very impressed with this foundation. That's all I can say about it. So finally, a uh, couple of things, a couple of eye pencils. The two that I really am liking besides my physician's formula, I'm always going to love them, is the Jane Water Resistant uh, water Black Pencil and then the Cargo, and this is the Swimmables. The Cargo does seem to last a little longer on the waterline, but I've yet to find any... Snick, 
any don't I find any pencil that will last on your water line just because we blink so much and we you know the moisture and everything it just kind of breaks it down but they're both really good so I do like both of these pencils and last but not least lips for those days I don't want a lot of color I like the Dr. Rescue and this is what Berry Soft it's just a beautiful color it leaves a little bit of color on your lips and a little bit of shine plus it kind of heals if your lips are a little dry and I can't be without my NYX Butter Gloss and this one's in Strawberry Parfait just a beautiful color it's what I'm wearing right now I like NYX lip products I like their blush products I think that's my two favorite categories with NYX. Their shadows are nice, but they're a little more powdery, and you do always need a primer with those. But you can't, I don't think you can go wrong with NYX blush or lips. So if you're looking for some new blushes or some new lip products, check out NYX. I think you'll be very pleasantly surprised. So that was a quick run through of some of my favorite things for mid month, and you got to see. You know, a couple fuzzy dogs. My golden retriever's laying here on this over beside me. He's been limping, holding up his front paw. I think he's played too hard and he's done something to his paw and he's milking it for all the sympathy that he can get and it's working. I'm paying, I'm just babying him so much right now, but I hate seeing him limp so. It breaks my heart. So that's it for mid-month favorites. I wish you all a great day. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate each and every one of you. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And take care. And until the next video, bye-bye.